The former Spice Girl Jerry Halliwell took centre stage at the High Court in London today. She was giving evidence in the case between the Spice Girls and an Italian scooter manufacturer. The company who signed the group to promote their Spice Sonic scooter claimed Jerry's departure turned the deal into a marketing flop. ITN's Katie Derham was in court. This is what the court case is all about. A special edition scooter called the Spice Sonic, made by Italian firm Aprilia, who were the official sponsors of the Spice Girls' 1998 tour. The girls did extensive promotional work for the company, which in return hoped for a highly successful product. But that was before Ginger Spice Jerry Halliwell left the band. Five became four, the ads were out of date, and Aprilia say they lost £1.6 million in profits. Today, arriving surrounded by minders, Jerry Halliwell was in court to defend the accusation that she and the rest of the girls had already known she was leaving when they signed the deal. In the witness box for an hour, the former Spice Girl, nervous and rather timid when questioned, was vague when asked exactly when she decided to split from the others. It was like leaving a marriage, she said. There wasn't one defining moment. Adamant that all the girls were equally involved in business decisions, she added that the implications of her career change weren't utmost in her mind, when taking part in the scooter promotions. Baby Spice Emma Bunton also gave evidence earlier in the week in this complicated two-way case, in which the band are also suing Aprilia for unpaid sponsorship and royalty fees. As more details emerge about the way this sponsorship deal with Aprilia was handled, the court case is providing a fascinating insight into the way the Spice Girls managed themselves before Jerry Halliwell left the band, and indeed, into the very nature of her departure. The court case itself isn't over, though, and is expected to continue well into next week. Katie Derham, ITN for Public Television, at the High Court.